Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops Cold War, and Call of Duty Vanguard. Which game is the best, which is the worst? In all honesty, they all suck really bad. It's more of a case of which game sucks the least. Good morning everyone, RSX Squishy here, and for today's video, I'm finna be going over the last three games that Activision released for Call of Duty and ranking them in terms of which one is the best one or better one and which is the worst one when they're low-key all bad. But anyway, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. We're so close to 69,000 subs. We're only a few away. So you can help me out by commenting and subscribing and liking. Um, so anyway, if you like honest reviews and someone that never shills for Activision and I'm completely honest, um, again, subscribe, comment, and support me. Anyway, let's get started with the video. So coming in fourth place is Call of Duty Vanguard. Now... I know what you're saying, but Squishy, there's only three games. Why are you rating Vanguard as fourth? This game is so bad, it doesn't deserve a top three spot, even though there's only three games. That's how bad it is. So fourth place goes to Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, when this game originally came out, the first thing, essentially the only thing that they added with this game was combat pacing, meaning that in multiplayer lobbies, you were able to pick the pacing of the game whether you wanted a more aggressive with more people or more tactical um meaning more campy with less people and that's essentially the only thing that they introduced with this game um after about 30 minutes of playing it on release day i noticed how shitty it was and then slowly and slowly uh but surely so many bugs started coming out with the game there were so many gun glitches so many things wrong and i think at one point if you even look at back as far as uh, a lot of my videos there was a point where there was at least 150 glitches and things that were wrong with the game and um essentially i know i would, maybe about 85 percent of them never got fixed so this game was just an absolute nightmare activision themselves admitted that this game was just a piece of shit it was rushed and nobody gave a fuck about it they had like the least amount of updates it's the only game uh, only call of duty game that i uninstalled after like a month and a half i was putting videos and i was getting negative views that's how bad the fucking game was but um they they tried to revamp the gunsmith uh so as you know in modern warfare and black ops cold war you had five attachments per gun they tried to do 10 i'm guessing this was to pump fucking sales numbers for people that uh were playing warzone or whatever and felt that with 10 attachments you'd have a superior gun to a gun with five attachments you know what i mean so in my opinion that's the only reason they try to revamp that but the whole gunsmith system with essentially all the games is a piece of shit because the stats are never accurate and there's a bunch of shit on there you got recoil control accuracy aiming stability aiming while walking aiming while grabbing your dick whatever there's a bunch of random ass shit that i don't even know what the fuck it does and a lot of the attachments are glitched to where it doesn't do what it says and a bunch of shit so call of duty gets a big fat f um oh and also they tried to introduce that champions hill game mode i don't i played it once maybe where it's like a couple of teams uh they try to compete or whatever oh, total fucking camp fest that fucking game the thing that they tried and then they kept um mentioning with that game was that i think it came out with like 20 maps or some shit everyone was all excited and i'm like bro first off that's how many maps they should be coming out with in the first place these dickheads made billions and billions of dollars with uh well i don't know about billions but actually i think they reached about a billion dollars in revenue from microtransactions and you're telling me these dickheads can't afford to put 20 25 maps in every fucking game come on that should people need to make their standards higher with these fucking games but uh, vanguard gets an overall a fat f and also because nobody likes that played out fucking old weapon era of world war ii whatever the fuck in the jungle vietnam era of weapons it's just fucking boring everyone likes weapons and they did it back to back right after fucking cold war so anyway um yeah uh, vanguard gets a big fat f horrible game in third place is actually uh black ops uh cold war now this game is a little bit uh different so um yeah this game is also a piece of shit not as much as a piece of crap as vanguard the reason why was because this game actually received so many more updates and support that to the point of now i mean all fucking late but now the game actually got so many more maps it got so many um 
new things added to it. When this game came out, it was so empty. It was emptier than my fucking childhood. Like, there was literally nothing to this game. There was, like, 12 weapons and shit. The snipers sucked ass. The graphics were horrible. They didn't use the same engine that everyone was familiar with from Modern Warfare and, like, Warzone. So, it was, like, a completely different movement mechanic. And it was just complete ass. And not to mention that the integration of Black Ops Cold War into Warzone just started fucking everything up. Now, that's why all the updates are... Every time something updates in Warzone now, you got Vanguard, Black Ops Cold War, and all this stuff. Something always ends up going wrong. Now, it's a, it's a, I would say, slightly better game. Not as much trash as it was when it first came out. But this game was embarrassing when it first came out. Like, there was nothing to it. Like, the snipers just felt like ass. Oh, my God. I was so pissed when this game came out. Because I thought... I, actually, when this game came out, I, like, first started my quote-unquote YouTube content creator career. And I was like, how the fuck am I going to play this game for another fucking year? I ended up going to Modern Warfare, uh, back to Modern Warfare, um, after like three months. And so did so many other streamers. I was actually surprised because I thought I was going to be the only one. But anyway, yeah, that game gets a big fat F as well. And then in second place, you act, I would say one and a half place, you actually have Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, the reason why I rate this game the highest is because it does have the... Uh, the best engine and the warzone engine with infinity ward which they typically tend to make the better engines the better graphics and all of that the arrow which may which was a uh, modern duh um just makes the weapons look nicer the gunsmith was so nice um in terms of the graphics not compared to cold war where it looks like a fucking bb gun but in general um modern warfare just tended to be a much better played game the maps i'm not gonna lie they're pretty ass you got piccadilly um what is that freaking afghan uh, afghani map i forgot what it's called um uh, it was just terrible and then yeah there were a lot of terrible maps and it wasn't until the end um when they started adding newer and newer maps when the game got a little bit better but i'm not gonna lie all of these games suffer the same thing in terms of the customization and i said this when i actually started playing this game first before i even became associated anything with making youtube videos and it was the lack of customization for everything everything if you want to customize your gun you have to buy a fucking skin which is fucking useless calling cards and emblems were fucking shitty they look like two dollar fiver graphic intern designs that you can fucking make if i put paint on my penis and write it on a piece of paper it was, I, I don't know it's just it was just horrible there's no customization to it and the game does get boring after a while and i'm saying that as i play this game for three years because i had to give up on cold war and freaking vanguard but anyway if you're planning on getting any of these games don't um if anything if you can get modern warfare for less than seven dollars i would actually deem it worth it any of the other games i wouldn't even play them now that you got modern warfare 2 coming out um i would essentially i would rather save up for that game because that game's gonna have a longer life cycle and even though they say that the game is going to be more supported and all of that like i don't trust activision at all anymore after the, they fucked me over the last three times with games but anyway i hope you guys liked the video if you enjoy it and you're still here uh i really appreciate it um you helping me with uh, my youtube career it does mean a lot uh, sometimes i do get discouraged but it does help out when you guys like comment and stuff so um anyway uh like comment subscribe uh send donations to me and um, report none of you for cheating. Just kidding. Uh, have a good one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.